or not, as you mentioned earlier, that both you and Canelo were not 100% for the first fight. Why do you think that was? Do you think it was uh, um, facing a fellow elite, or was it the nerves of a big pay-per-view? Canelo said he was the only real Mexican in there, but uh, I know Abel's criticism has been that he didn't fight you know, that way. So we'll see how he fights the second yeah. fight. They've made adjustments on their side, and uh, we'll see uh, if Canelo just continues to be defensive. Uh, with the rematch, or if he's going to go for the knockout like he's promising his fans. You want to uh, talk a little about the appointing of the judges and uh, the referee? I know they're yeah, the, uh, the judges, uh, the officials were appointed uh, this week by the Nevada Athletic Commission. Uh, There's no issues from the Triple G side with, uh, with the judges. Uh, Dave Moretti from Nevada, uh, Steve Weisfeld, uh, and uh, Glenn Feldman. So, uh, they seem qualified, uh, judges, and uh, the referee is Ben Giustevis. So, uh, you know, there, there's no controversy uh, from our side. You know, the main thing with the officials where we want to make sure the focus is on the fight and the fighters in the ring, not on the officials uh, outside the ring. Unfortunately, Kenny Bayless wasn't available. We thought he did a fine job the first time around. He wasn't available for the rematch, so uh, they uh, agreed to. Uh, the Golden Boy and the uh, Triple G side uh, uh, were both fine with Ben Justevis, and the commission uh, uh, agreed to appoint him as a referee. Tom, you've, uh, you've been up at Big Bear Lake for both the, the first fight and the rematch, watching him train. Do you see more of a sense of determination on the part of Gennady, or what, what are you sort of analysis when you see him in the uh, the, the, these fights with Canelo, uh, with Triple G and Canelo, these are the biggest fights in the sport of boxing right now. Um, we felt Gennady won the first fight, so we feel he won the first fight. If he does the same thing, he should won, win the second fight. But I, I see even uh, a more determined uh, Triple G. I think you saw with Bonas, nobody did to Bonas what he did, you know, with all the things about it. Short notice and 154 pounds. Nobody, you know, Charlo, Lara, nobody stopped Bonas in the second round like Gennady did. And I think Gennady took out a lot of frustration that he had <coughs> with Canelo and that situation with Cinco de Mayo. He took it out on Bonas and all the frustrations that were built up uh, with the suspension and, and all the controversy. I think you'll see Gennady taking it out on September 15th. A couple more questions, yeah. First, to make up a fight, this is it's clearly the biggest fight of the year uh, in boxing. Uh, do you feel it's a little odd that you guys haven't had a face-to-face -face interaction? I'm not sure how the rest of this day goes, but it seems set up so that the two fighters don't really have an interaction with each other and won't until the fight week. It's kind of rare for a fight of this magnitude for that to happen. And I'm wondering if that's played into any of this at all or kind of the... Uh, yeah, just uh, Mark, just to be clear, uh, that didn't come from the Triple G side. Gennady has no problem looking Canelo in the eyes. No, no I'm not saying that. I'm just wondering if how that's been being part of this fight. Like it's kind of a interesting, it's an interesting. It's, uh, you know, it, usually for a big pay-per-view fight like this, uh, we'll do a, uh, a world tour. Uh, last time we were even in, in London you know, promoting the promoting the fight. Uh, this time around, you know, with the discussions with Golden Boy, they felt that, uh, you know, we had announced this for May. It's pretty much being reset for September 15th with all the controversy. It makes it uh, even bigger than, than the first fight. Uh, but again, to be clear, it, it was, the decision wasn't from the Triple G side. Gennady uh, has promoted fights all over the world. And uh, he's one of the most open fighters in terms of access to his training camp. You know, sitting down like this, he went to a big UFC event up in uh, up in Las Vegas. Uh, 
So he, he's always up for pulling the fight, and again, uh, he has no problem looking Canelo in the eyes, uh, whether now or during fight week. And I think uh, it was the reading I got it was the Canelo side. They just wanted to focus on the training and not go through the whole promotion. Steve? Gennady, you've always said boxing is a sport, but this seems to be a little bit more personal. Have you ever wanted to win a fight as badly as the rematch? Right now, yeah. Right now, I feel like a little bit different, not only sport, not only business, yeah. Like, we doesn't have nothing, yeah. This is like special, you know. I want to bring, you know, my true ideas, like, you know, my true situation, you know. Because, because his team, his promotion, you know, doesn't respect, like, boxing people, you know. I saw this situation, is terrible. Not for this time. Gennady, when, when you told Tom, I'm not taking 42 and a half percent, and that fight had kind of flatlined, it died for about an hour, were you prepared to really, in your mind, go from tens of millions of dollars to a lot less? Was, was that okay with you? Of course. Really? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> well, tens of millions of dollars well, oh, to, yeah, to a lot yeah, less. I understand that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I understand that. I'm crazy. Yeah. Really, <laughs> just I look at this situation. I know, I know this is a very good deal for both, you know, for me and for him. And I know he is, if he has like a real like big problem with, I don't know, I don't know, like maybe no, he doesn't have fight. I know this, this split is very real for us, no problem. A lot of people. Take time, just, just time. A lot of people, Steve, uh, you know, lose focus that uh, Triple G is a champion. He's the one defending his titles. He felt once the suspension happened with Canelo, Canelo needs him in the ring to redeem himself. If Canelo fought somebody else, knocked out someone else, it wouldn't have the same effect as getting back in the ring with Triple G. That's why he held firm on the position, and he was right. You know, we had the fight done with Billy Joe Saunders. He told me, Tom, it doesn't matter to me. If you make the Canelo fight, if you make the fight with Billy Joe Saunders, that took the pressure off of me. He was interested just as much from a sporting perspective to, to fight an undefeated champion, add the WBO title to his, to his collection as, I mean, there's no question that the fight with Canelo is a much bigger stage, it's a much bigger promotion, it's the fight that everyone's looking forward to this year, but uh, for him, it didn't matter, Canelo or, uh, or Saunders. Tom, were you surprised uh, as you called him from Russia, I believe, at the World Cup at that yeah, point? He was, in, he was in Moscow at the, the World Cup. Cup. <laughs> so as you said, Gennady got this great deal. They, they've come up to 42.5%, and, a half percent, and I'm, I'm assuming you thought, we're done. And when Gennady said, no, we're not done, were you surprised by that hardline stance? Your client. Let me just say, Gennady is a better poker player than I am. I tell Tom, Tom, just yes or no. That's it. It's not interesting for me, really, because for me, Canelo only this is a step. This is not biggest name, biggest face, like you know, like per, per man or like this. For me, this is just fight. Just look, am I going? So I tell him, look, am I going to soccer? <laughs> so, 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 you woke up, just I said, okay, just send me, just yes or no, that's it, just to get. I was, I was, I was trying to explain, yeah. you know, everything, uh, all the steps that Golden Boy was doing, and he said, look, let's take I don't have, Steve, yeah. I don't have problem. Yeah. He still have big problem, <laughs> biggest problem for boxing, you know, for, I don't have problem. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, he, Gennady felt, after, so it was about one hour after the deadline passed and the fight was dead. I already called HBO, I called the MGM, I called Tecate, the sponsors. He said, you know, we're going in the direction of Billy Joe Saunders. We couldn't make the fight. And an hour later, Eric Gomez called me up and said, okay, we got one more. Uh, he spoke to Oscar, got one more proposal for you. It was exactly what, what he was looking for with a little bit of a tweak, but I knew with that proposal, uh, Gennady really wanted the fight. There's no question he wanted the fight. He just wanted it to be under fair, uh, fair circumstances. And so once they uh, came to that, then he accepted within five minutes. He said, okay, let's make the fight. Tom, when, okay, so when you called everyone saying that we're gonna move on to Billy Joe Saunders, what was the reaction of the various people? I mean, everyone was disappointed. I was disappointed. You know, I wanted to, I wanted nothing more than to announce, okay, we're doing the, gonna do the rematch with Canelo. But uh, look, if Gennady didn't agree, then uh, he held firm, and uh, he knew also that uh, 
Well, you know what I was getting back with the split. Canelo is still getting the majority of the split, so Canelo is not losing money in this fight. In fact, this will most likely, besides the last fight, which was his biggest payday, this will be his biggest payday of his career. And uh, you know, Gennady felt this is the fair split. It's a big fight for Gennady. It's a huge fight for for Canelo. And uh, there's a lot of effects of this fight. You know, Triple G is going for a record of title defenses. Canelo, if he wins, he wins the titles that Gennady worked so hard to get, so both sides have a lot to win. Uh, it's very rare when you get two of the top fighters in the sport of boxing and also two of the most marketable fighters in the sport of boxing. And that's what really makes, I think, this event such a big, a fight, a big event when uh, they're fighting each other. Guys, we're going to have to wrap it. Uh, he's got to do TV outside.